Hey guys, just getting ready for the gig tonight. Got everything loaded up in my car. And I wanted to give a little uh, little tidbit for you. If I were to say the name Andrew Carnegie, I bet 95% of people have never heard that name before. And yet, he's played a significant role in a lot of people's lives in St. Mary's. Um, Andrew Carnegie was, I believe, originally from Pennsylvania, and he was in the steel industry. Um, this was back in the early 1900s. He had accumulated about $400 million in wealth, which even today is still a lot. Um, but he said that he spent the first half of his life accumulating wealth, and he wanted to spend the second half of his life giving it all away. So what he did was he hired a guy named Napoleon Hill to basically take his Rolodex and go around to all the brilliant minds of the time, people like Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, and basically figure out what made them successful. What were, these, what were the commonalities that these people shared that allowed them to achieve these grand results? And he wanted them to basically come up with a list, publish it in a book so that people had access to it. And so from those interviews came this book here, Thinking Real Rich. I don't know if that's coming backwards because it's on selfie mode, but Thinking Real Rich, which was originally written in 1937 and to this day is still one of the most recommended books in the business and personal development world. Um, so that was, that was the first thing that he did. The second thing that Andrew Carnegie did was he needed to uh, provide access to this information. So he invested tens of thousands of dollars um, to each of these municipalities, like hundreds of municipalities all around North America. Um, and one thing that I found out a few years ago was if you're on Church Street in St. Mary's, and you walk up the nice stone stairs, you walk up to the doors of the public library in St. Mary's, to the left of the doors, there's this plaque on the front of the building. And on the plaque, it essentially says, um, this library was started with a donation from Andrew, Andrew Carnegie for $10,000. And so there's a little background story on Andrew Carnegie. But anyways, uh, looking forward to the gig tonight. Like I said, it will be the first solo gig in St. Mary's in quite a few years. So I'm excited. Hope you guys come down and have some fun and have some drinks. We'll dance a little bit. It'll be good. See you tonight.